Go to tapjars.com to learn dreams, engage my services, and support the channel. The current jam is isometric. How about a new perspective? Put your talents to the test with this jam theme that bridges the gap between the second and third dimensions. Dream Shaping has a Community Kits banner, and then if you go to the Element Kits, it has Isometric Scenes by the Dirty Flusher, and uh, they're pretty cool. So Isometric is kind of this kind of view, where it, um, the perspective is kind of seems warped, and uh, it just looks like a flattened kind of diamond shape, like the floor, and like that. And if I show you another one, and it's got a remixable template as well. So if we remix that, it's just like it's just a normal 3D object, but when viewed in a certain way, then it looks isometric. If I put a um, a cube there, then this uh, the the floor of this cube kind of looks diamond-ish, but we're going to make it isometric. So if we just use a camera for now, that's the simplest way. And I can use L1 and X to scope into it, and then move it around and stuff. And if I move way back and zoom way in, it kind of lessens the um, the the perspective of it, and now it looks more or less like a square just on its on a, like a 45 degree angle and that's isometric and if you go at a lower angle then it will become like flatter sort of like that and if we move over to focus on the scene then you can see it kind of has that isometric vibe that we saw in those other scenes so now we're like super far away but if we look at the um the angle the uh the field of view angle normally it's on 62 but as we lower it then it's focusing on like a smaller and smaller part of the scene that fills the vision and that's that's how you get this kind of pseudo isometric vibe and the camera t tends to be really small so you can just turn it up by hovering over it and using the up arrow the up on the d-pad and now it's a bigger gadget so when I'm over here I can see it better but it does exactly the same thing, has exactly the same effect. If this was a game, then we might not want the camera to be just focused on this one area the whole time. So let's just turn that camera off, but we can still make it isometric. So normally we'd be possessing this character and we can look around and stuff and it would just look normal in 3D, unless we change the settings of the controller sensor. So you know how you've got this um, built-in camera that you can look around with? Uh, uh, some of the settings of that camera can be controlled with the controller sensor because that's what it's kind of focusing on is an object with a possessed controller sensor uh, such as this one. So it has a camera properties tab and we can do the same thing with it. We can have a big camera distance and uh, maybe more tilt. So it's kind of looking more three quarters down and a narrow field of view. And let's see what that looks like. So I can move the camera around and stuff, but it still has that kind of weird flat uh, feel. So if I go to that three quarter view and move around, now the camera is still following the uh, the player, but it's it has that isometric kind of vibe. And if we don't want to be able to move around with the right stick we want to lock it into the isometric angle then we can put in a camera pointer and just set that up to the angle we want cool so now i can't move the with the right stick but we still have that isometric view for our uh game thanks for watching i hope you learned something interesting go to patreon.com slash tapgiles to learn something new every day